Okay. I'm just curious, how much would you take for this whole box right here? Uh, I'm, which one is that? Let me see. Two for five? How about, uh, we'll flip a coin. I'm gonna bet you. All you right. Two, we go flip. 15, 15 bucks. Moving on, I think this is probably my best score out of the whole deal there. We got a Monopoly. Ah, I'm gonna call heads. Okay, buddy. See how my luck Yes. All right, guys, so it's yard sale Saturday morning. So we're in our first yard sale. Get y'all along for the ride. I'm putting on my GoPro here. Go see, they're setting up. I'm a little early. That's what you want to do is get here early. I like a lot of good things out there. So let's go see what they are. I'm gonna leave the car running. It's cold outside. Oh, that's some NASCAR stuff. Oh, man. Are you looking for anything specific? Um, I look for a lot of different things, but normally like golf clubs or video games. So, um, video games, we only have these. Okay. And that's up here, and we have a, a golf, golf caddy. Okay. Yeah. Got a Wii? Okay. Well, not the whole Wii. Oh, okay. Just the Wii Fit. Oh, the Wii Fit. The okay. Games. All right. There you go. Wii Fit. So. Those things were good in the pandemic. All right. Yeah, we kept the Wii and the Mario Kart. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I like getting, the Mario Kart. That's cool. Now, I'll browse around, though. I know you're just start setting up. Yeah. I'll try to stay out and your way. Um, stuff in here, too. Okay. Um, these cabinet, um, shelves that right here. Okay. And we're still bringing. I got you. Mo moving on out, eh? Yeah. I got you. Um, we're Air Force. Okay. Let's see. And <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Cast iron grill. Yeah, so we're bringing that in. Okay. Yeah, so we're bringing that in. Okay. Yeah, we're bringing that Okay. Yeah, that's all miscellaneous. Okay. Here. All right. What we got here? 1983 Corvette. We got some model cars in here. Mm. I got this box right here. Mm. Let's sit here. Got a lot of NASCAR stuff in there. Ooh. Bad luck for us the whole. Oh man, it's like that. So I'm like, there's definitely something going to happen to me now. I got you. I'm just curious, how much would you take for this whole box right here? Uh, six bucks. Six bucks for this whole box. Oh, for both of those, even the the whole box. That whole box right there, six bucks. I can't say no to that. Okay, it's not bad. Six bucks. My stuff gone too, but I um the Boeing there. That's cool. there. How much you want for the Boeing model? Um. Bucks. Two bucks? Yeah. That ain't bad. And how about that one? If you do both for five, I do that. Alright, let me. And that, then I can give you this back for ten. Alright, let me just uh, let me debate on it real quick. Okay. Come on, come on. I might get it. I might get it. It is croquet. Oh, and man. this is that ladder wrong game. Okay. And then this is bocce. A bocce. Oh yeah. Bocce. I had a croquet set and it out, took me out. I tried to donate it the other day and I was missing the balls and they wouldn't take it. I'm like, oh, that's, that's not cool. Let's see what this thing is. How much would you take for that? A dollar. A dollar? Okay. I can, I can do that. So, All right, I'm doing it. Oh, wait. Wow. No, that's actually a, um, all right, what uniform was that? We have BDUs. That's an ABU. ABU. That's an all battle uniform. Hat. Okay. So. You know you have. That's pretty good. Uh, I've been married to him all the time. He's been in the four. career. So that's four, five, twenty-five. Did you do? Would you do five for all? Yep. All right. We do. Well, thank you. I appreciate. It. I'm glad <laughs> I came here. I took. All right. That wasn't a bad deal. That was pretty good. I can't believe none of my competition. Anybody's here right now. It's seven. It's almost eight o'clock. Buddy at this yard sale. She's taking a picture of it. Oh. 
Holy. Man, I fixed that. Man, I got shoes. Females. Yeah, how you doing? Some rigid stuff. My cord. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Is this you? Huh? Is this no, you? No, no, he just went in. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's his neighbor. All right. That was going on too bad. Hmm. Can I throw you an offer on him? Can I throw you an offer on them? Or are you are you firm? Oh, you mean those red ones? Oh yeah, those gonna be fifteen because my brother told me eighteen because he paid oh, a lot for them. I got you. This has some back heel wear. Yeah, that's yeah. what he's saying. But he's like, I paid a lot for those six. Yeah, it's the on clouds. Yeah, I, I can't go less than fifteen on those. Okay. You kill me. Oh, I got to make up the money. I understand. I understand. All right. Oh, if I had that back heel wear, I'd give you I'd give you fifteen. <laughs> Hmm. How much for one of your golf clubs? Um, maybe fifteen on that one. Fifteen. Ten. Ten on the adult, the lefties, and then the kids said I'd do uh, maybe twenty. Gotcha, gotcha. You open the offers at all? Um, what you, um, I just wanted this one. You wouldn't do five on it, would you? No. 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 Burn 420. Let's see what we're going for. My last. Give me some plug, right? Hey. Hmm. I know. No kid. No kid. A whole set of them. Hmm. How much you ask for a golf club? Pack with you. Oh God. Man. Hey, make, make me open. I look at you, you might not uh Man, you got a broken set of Wilson's in here I might want. But I ain't I don't offer them. You make me an offer, and I promise you, I'm a man of my word. If, if you're close, you can get them. Five dollars for all of them? No, just these. No, huh? no. All right. Man, if it's a whole set yeah. of these goosenecks, I probably would definitely pay up a little bit. But it's a broken set. I tell you, if you want the bag, every club there in there, there, fifty bucks. No. I can't do that, man. I got so many in my house now. Yeah, that's the only ones I got left. I had a bunch, you know what I mean? Dang. How much you want for that one? What you, you take three dollars. <laughs> two, two, five. But how about five. That? You throw this one in there for five. I'm, Which one is that? Let me see. Two for five. How about uh, we'll flip a coin. I'm gonna bet you. All right. Two, we go flip a coin. All right, I like that. That's hey, five for both or eight for both. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Who got the coin? I don't think I got any coins. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so, going to let you call I'm, it. Are you let me call it? Okay. Call it, I trust you on that side. All right, all right. All right, I'm, I'm going to call his. Okay, buddy. See how my luck's going to get, man. Oh, I lose. It's tails. I pay up. Eight bucks, man. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, uh, wait a second. I'm going to treat bucks. Man. That's fair deal. That's what I pay for it in the Goodwill. Eight bucks. Yeah, that's why I say, you know, a, a lot of these I, I buy stores, lockers, and okay. stuff's in it. You had a bunch more? This is all I had. I had a, a bunch. Dang. When I'm talking about a bunch, uh, a good bit. Dang, I missed out on that deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, man. Right. What would you give for everything? 
It just, I sell well, stuff. I'm saying I don't need them. I don't, I sell it on eBay. A lot of stuff is not, this is going to be tough too, but yeah. they're, they're Adams and Taylor May. I mean, I couldn't buy it because it ain't going to sell. These are just, I would just throw it on Facebook Marketplace to get them for like 10, 15 bucks. And I, I mean, yeah. if I could get that for this type of, because I'm not saying it's junk. Bagging off? Yeah, I mean, like these are copies of Ping Zin. Yeah, yeah. And that was an old, Northwestern, this is a kids junior club. Yeah. The McGregor was a five dollar putter on eBay. Yeah. The thing that's really cool is the these junior clubs sell good, but I mean I had like three sets out of different lockers. Yeah. And that's the only one that was broke up basically out of the bunch. I got you. Man, I should gave my card, man. I, I, I run an eBay business. I look for golf clubs mainly. I sell stuff on eBay too, but I don't do the golf clubs. Yeah, golf clubs are tough. These you know I will say that, that'd be a hundred and fifty dollar set of golf clubs. These right here. These are Wilson Staff Forge FG 53. But broken partial sets, it's hard to sell. I tell you what, a few of them. Yeah, he has some tennis rackets. He's got that hammer. There you go. All right, buddy. Take care of Thank you, buddy. How much you want for a tennis racket? The only one that's new is the Wilson. The orange one, that's new here. And uh, that's all right, guys. So now we're back home in the lab here. This is my office, and what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I picked up at the yard sales flea market. And that way, I can help you all build some resale knowledge and give you some ideas on what this stuff might go for. And yeah, let's just turn the camera around and show you. All right, guys. So here we go. First thing we got is all the NASCAR stuff I got from that one yard sale for six bucks. But guys, I'm gonna tell you NASCAR stuff is falling by very heavily unless you got Dale Earnhardt stuff, Dale Senior, Dale Junior. A lot of people have clicked those. These are there's no Dale Earnhardt stuff up here at all. There's still some good value though. So what we got going on? I've looked everything up, it's in, I don't see any home runs in here. But I'll tell you the model car stuff's pretty decent. The Dukes of Hazard. As long as it was complete, I saw a pre-owned one go for like 20 bucks. Um, I did look inside of there. It looks like it's all there. Next up, we got is a Richard Petty um, AM Revell, you know, model car kit. And I want to say this one didn't comp out too great. I mean, even though Richard Petty is one of the greatest names in NASCAR history, I mean, it's not selling that great. So moving on. Then we got a Piedmont Terry Labonte looking. Hey, look, I saw the Amazon guy just poke by my window. He's got my boxes. I need those. But anyway, look, see, boop, he went away. <clears throat> Alright guys, next up we got is a Terry Labonte. This is when he drove the Piedmont car, and I mean, that was kind of before my time. I thought this one might be worth a little bit, not so much, and it does look like it's incomplete in there. But if I, I feel like it's sold for like $15. If I find a sold comp, I will throw it in the screen. And the best one of all, I think, is this one here. This is a 1969 Dodge Daytona. Um, auto car kit everything was in there i'm not gonna open the box up but i think this one comped about about 20 bucks so even pre-owned you know model car kits do sell pretty good so worth picking up if you do see them and you know anytime you find the i think these are the 124 scale cars these do okay i want to say the last mark martin here went for like 10 bucks i was there they got mark martin and got we got his hauler here someone was asking like 20 25 dollars for this thing no but there's no solds for it and then we got this is you would think that's richard petty's car but it's not it's actually john andretti i think kyle petty drove this car too and some other drivers but this is the wheaties 43 car and i forgot the last i think it was like 10 bucks so i'm saying you're not gonna see no more than 10 bucks out of these things unless you got a rear a, a very rare you know different one this is terry labonte again in the kellogg's car i did comp this one out it looks like it's about 10 15 bucks couple odds and ends here um i didn't look these up i mean in value here look we got ricky Rudd. i did look one of these up i mean these go for like 10 11 bucks free shipping this is give the kid give the give kids the world tide car so pretty cool there i always thought ricky Rudd's little tide car looked pretty cool even growing up as a kid it was one of my favorite cars got a mont martin bobblehead in there well Martin's a really good race car driver i mean and this dude he raced for a long time like he was like really old when he quit we got Tony Stewart. We all know Tony Stewart's almost like the GOAT next on Harden, maybe Junior, but Tony Stewart was very, very good race car driver. I think that comped out about 10, 11 bucks free shipping. Another Martin car, just in general, just that's okay. I mean, I valued all this probably, if I make 60 bucks off that $6, I'd be happy with that. And that's about where I think I'm at. So, anyway, you're fine. They don't hard stuff. They don't pick up some of the pre owned model car kits go for good. I mean, I got it for cheap, six bucks. I mean, you're not gonna beat that. So 
not a bad score there. All right, guys, moving on to, I did pick up the Boeing B-52D Stratus, Strato Fortress uh, model, model airplane here that I've never picked up before. For two bucks, I mean, two bucks come beat it. I saw someone took a best offer off of a 40, I don't know, $40. So everything was in there. You can see it looks pretty, pretty complete. So I'll have to go through that and do an inventory check. But I think this is going to be okay. So I think I can get like, I think I can squeeze 30 bucks out of that model car kit. What do you think, Bailey? She's chilling. Hey, Bailey. Bailey, what you doing? Anyway, let's go back over here. Next. All right, guys. Next, we got here some hats. Now, I don't know anything about these hats yet. I, I've done like a little bit of research, but these are from Russia. I mean, the lady was, I think, in the military, and he was picking these up. I only picked these up for a dollar. I can't figure out what these are worth to save my life. I thought they were cool for a buck. You know, do some research, maybe learn something. It was like a little toboggan. So I'm pretty sure I could squeeze some good profit out of these. I have sold a toboggan before. But I'm not saying I'm going to get rich off this, but I thought they were pretty cool. This one's weird. They don't have a symbol on it. So anyway, then we also got, she told me the name of this one here. I have to go back. But, you know, mil military issued, you know, camo, little sun hat, bucket hat. So not too bad. Paying a dollar a piece. And then this here, hey, you, you wouldn't think this is worth any money. This is a kid's version of the WWE, it's an NXT belt. I don't know much about wrestling of today's modern world, but this thing comps out like 15 bucks with free shipping and it don't weigh a whole lot. If you find the ones that are actual replicas, I throw a so comp in the screen. Those are worth like 150, $200. So not too bad there. I'm just picking that up. I mean, she only want like 25 cent kids toy, but it does sell if you ever see that 15, 15 bucks. Moving on, I think this is probably my best score out of the whole deal there. We got a Monopoly. Ah, I'm gonna turn it around. This is a 1985 version of the Monopoly commem commemorative, commemorative 1935 edition, you know, game. Everybody plays Monopoly. They make a lot of, you know, the collectible ones. This is a steel tin here. And then we got inside here, everything looks complete. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty snazzy. So we got everything, all the money, like, it's gonna make this easy for me to count. And these things pre-owned were going for anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars plus shipping so i think for i paid a dollar for that so definitely was a good score so if you ever see like monopoly stuff you might want to look them up scan the barcodes and see what they're worth because it can be worth some decent money like this one i think that was worth some good money all right guys so now i got a few more items on the table i want to talk about real quick these are things i found like at thrift stores over here and then some yard sales these are some good items to be on the lookout for when you're out yard selling or you know, put my chair up. Y'all heard it. I heard it rolling. But this I found at the flea, flea market. This was a Wilson Hyper Hammer tennis racket. And I mean, it's kind of it's a little beat up a little bit. I mean, it's scuffed. But I'll tell you, the Wilson Hyper Hammer tennis racket, the 2.0, I mean, they they do sell very well. In fact, I've already sold it. Sold it for $25 plus shipping. Sold comps on these do go up to around $40, $50 though. This one, like I said, has some scuffing on it, and but no cracks. And that's the biggest thing you want to look for when you sell tennis rackets, especially these. They're easy to get cracks. I don't see any, and I look, you know, so hopefully he don't find any because I didn't see any. I mean, it's just a little scuffing. So be on the lookout for those. Those are good. And then at a yard sale previous week, I did pick these up. My footage did not get on my GoPro. I picked up this Sony little groove, you know, compact disc, disc man, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, there's a vintage CD player in that Walkman. And these right here sell very well. Unfortunately, you can hear something rattling in there. I've, I've got it listed for parts only if it was working, which it don't because I've half tested it, it don't work. But working, these things sell for like 30, 40 bucks. And then even parts only, I already got a watcher after listing this thing for a dollar. I mean, for 20, uh, $24.99 is what I got listed for. And it came with this little Sony pack, pouch here too. You know, I've talked about pouches in the past. These things by themselves sell pretty good. I mean, I think one sold comp on this one was like 15, 20 bucks maybe, I'm not sure. And then it came with these old school, like the Sony cassette adapter that you plug inside of your, your, um, your old school radio and that you plug this into the CD player, which will allow your CD player to play out of a cassette player. If y'all remember that back in the day, like I do. So not too bad score. I got that listed for, I think 1999 with free ship. So those things will do stuff pretty good. I'll throw the comp in the screen for them. Moving on, this name right here, Marlboro Tobacco Company. Anytime you see that kind of stuff, I would pick it up. I mean, I haven't sold a whole lot of that stuff, but I do know from watching, I think Bearded Thrift Machine is, I, I turned me on to watch, like picking this up. And that guy sells a lot of different weird things like this. So pick that up. This is actually a, this is a hammock storage container. <laughs> it's made by Marlboro. 
I got a list of, I think, like 20, 30 bucks. There's, I don't think there was any soul comps on this. It's just something cool to pick up. Marlboro, like I said, it's worth a, a dab if you can get it cheap. I don't pay a dollar for it. So, moving on. Going to move on to my thrift store finds. This I actually found today. It's picking up, going through my hometown. And this is a Mizuno catcher's mitt. Um, they wanted $10.50 for it. And they did mark it down when I got to the register to $2.50 because it's been on there. It's been in there for seven, you know, since last year, July. Wow. So I haven't been in there in a while. So yeah, that thing comps out about 40 bucks. Even though it's got a name on there, it still comps out 30, 40 bucks. That's easy money. And then this one's made by Advantage. I've never heard of Advantage. This is a catcher's mitt. Again, catcher's mitts do very well. I love picking them up, find them. I'll tell you the ones I've sold. I've sold every single one of them I have. I have none in inventory right now. And this one, I mean, it's pretty decent. So I, like I said, I can't find any sold comps. I pay like two bucks for it. So anyway just want to move, tell you all about that moving on did find a golf club in there today for i think they charged me 550 you can see they rode it on the club i kind of hate they did that because i gotta get that off but well the way i get that off is i'll dip it in some vinegar and this is actually made out of copper so you'll see this is a slozinger it'll say beryllium copper 510 putter and i think this one right here is worth like 20 30 bucks so anytime you find something copper definitely want to look into it probably pick it up because this is worth some money especially on a golf club and last but not least i got this cool tennis racket out of there i think i pay like two bucks for it it's been in there for a while but i have done no research on this at all yet i'll throw a soul comp on the screen if i can find it if it's good if it's bad i don't care but it's got this name right here billy jean king and i've sold these vintage wooden tennis tracks before and i mean they usually sell pretty decent at least 10 bucks but this one here is in mint condition with the case there so i think i'm gonna do pretty good with it. i mean it, it's got a nice gloss finish to it so i mean you've got the the grip handle i'm telling y'all grip handle size that is that is huge if you don't put that on there in the listing these these buyers will get crazy on you so make sure you put that in the listing if it is on there so i love buying the rackets with it on there so anyway that's it. That's all I got for today, guys. So I appreciate everybody watching. If you got some great information from, you know, this channel, this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. This helped me out a lot. I try to bring at least one video a week. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, you know, hit the button. That helps me out a lot as well. Again, guys, I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one. See you.